Hi steam makers, welcome to the steam machine. I'm Rachel. I'm Kelly. I'm Anna. We want you to remember that steam is as easy as one, two, three. Follow along with the steam from afar guide, enjoy our read aloud, and remember to play to learn no matter where you are. Bye. Hi friends, my name is Miss Anna. And I'm Miss Rachel. Let me tell you something about me. I love math. I use math everywhere. I love to count. I love to measure objects. And I love to investigate everything math related. But I also love books. And I get so excited when I see book math related like this one. And I love it to share it with you guys, my friends. Hey Rachel, can you share my book by Tana Hovind? I would with love more friends? to. I would love to. All right, the title of our book is Cubes, Cones, Cylinders, and Spheres. Let's get our brains ready for reading by zooming into the cover. What's one thing that you notice? That's right, there's a box. This box is a shape and it's called a cube. Look around your home or think out loud. Have you ever seen this shape, this cube shape? I have. I have this block. Anna, my block is a cube. Is this for me? Yeah. Mine is a cube too, but wait a second. Mine is smaller than yours. That's okay, Anna. Cubes can be different sizes. Okay, friends, let's go back to the cover. Do you notice anything else? I see a ball there. That's right, Anna. Does a ball have a shape? Yeah, it's a sphere. That's right, it is a sphere. Do we have any spheres here on the steam machine? Yes, I have a marble. That it's marble? It's a sphere also. It is a very tiny sphere. Let's zoom back in again onto the cover. Oh, I see a traffic cone. What shape is that? That is a cone shape. A cone shape? Yes. Oh. Do we have anything else here in the steam machine? Hmm. Is that shape? Cone shape? <gasps> Anna, we have this megaphone. <gasps> Does my voice sound different when I sing into it? I love learning. <laughs> yes, I'm silly. <laughs> hey, Rachel, do you know what I also notice here? It's a trash can behind the boxes. What shape is that trash can? Anna, that's a great question. This trash can is a cylinder shape. Anna, do we have any other things on the steam machine that are cylinder shaped? Hmm. Oh, look! This is cylinder shape. It's an old can. And it is a cylinder, yes. Anna. You're right. And you know what else I noticed? This cylinder? What? I don't know if you saw it. I don't know what that's In that. the cover. <gasps> the chalk! Yes! Chalk is also a cylinder shape. Yes! Good job noticing. Friends, now that we have thoroughly reviewed the cover and primed our brains, let's get ready for reading. Hey, Anna, I'm wondering, do you want to start? Yes, absolutely. I would love to. Why would I look closer? Look, I see a lot of wooden blocks. Some are bigger and some are smaller. Hmm, what shapes are these wooden blocks? They're cubes. They're cubes, yes. But you know what else I notice? Rachel. There are no words in this book. That's right, Anna. This is a special kind of book called a wordless picture book because words are not the only things that can tell an idea. Ice cream. I love ice cream. What is your favorite flavor? Mine is chocolate. If I close my eyes, I can imagine myself holding a cone filled with chocolate ice cream. Mmm, delicious. I can feel that ice cream is cold and the cone is not. I can also feel that the cone gets narrow towards the bottom 
and comes to a point. Sometimes the ice cream drips out. Look at the smokestacks on this huge ship. Can you guess what shape these are? Right, they're cylinders. What are those? Right, you saw this shape before. They're cones. Cones like these are used in construction sites. To warn people, it might be dangerous. And sometimes, coaches use them to show players what area to play around. How many cones does this picture have? Come on, come with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bubbles? It looks like this boy is having a lot of fun playing with bubbles. But wait, what shapes are these bubbles? They remind me of the shape of a ball. Oh, that's right. They're called spheres. Look at this lamppost. It also has spheres. How many spheres do you see? Five, correct. Wow, look at all these sculptures. This one with the girl standing on it, it's taller than the others that I see. What shapes are these? Do you remember? Cylinders. Who said that? I heard someone say cylinders. Anna, look. These people are having so much fun flying in a hot air balloon. I took a hot air balloon ride once. It was amazing being up so high. The balloons are in the shape of spheres. Okay, readers. Turn up your listening ears. Imagine you can really hear this band. The drums are cylinder shape. The shape helps create their sound. Whoa, I am really beginning to realize that everything around us has a shape. Just look at this page. There I see a board game with circles, triangles, rectangles. All two-dimensional or flat shapes. The child is holding a pair of a dice and a cup. Dice are cubes, and the cup is a cylinder. For the next few pages, I want you to identify the shapes out loud to your caregivers. So I will turn the page and pause so you can say the shape. And then I'll say it to confirm your thinking. It's a sphere. They are cones. They're cubes. They're cubes. They're spheres. It's a cylinder. <laughs> hey, Anna. It would be so fun to see what some of our friends can make with 3D shapes. Hi, it's Rachel. Hi, it's Anna. Look what I made with 3D shapes. The cylinder base blasts the rocket into space. The cubes are where they sit. The cone is where they drive when they fly through the sky. These cones right here produce the sound that you hear. I made a rocket, I made a rocket, yes, I did! Hi, Miss Rachel. Hi, Miss Anna. We made a tower. And what we used were cardboard boxes, including cereals, a game, a shoe box, plastic cups, a small baseball, a water bottle, milk carton, and a thing that holds breadcrumbs. And we also had a thing of 
Dried oatmeal. Hi, Miss Anna. Hi, Miss Rachel. Um, my brother made a dog using shapes or three dimensional shapes. It's got one, two, three, four, and five if you count the under faces. And he made the eyes right here, which are cylinders, which have no sides. And he made a tail, which also doesn't have any sides. And he has three cylinders right here. One, two, three, for the tongue. And there's a not three-dimensional shape, but a rectangle if you count that. Anyway, that's my brother's dog box creation. Bye! What a great job building, makers. Remember to play to learn with us every week. To show what you've built with 3D shapes, ask your family to share using hashtag ELCManatee or hashtag learningfromafar. I can't wait to see what creative things you've come up with.